Deputy Commissioner of Police Abakari was born on the 17th of March 1975 in Nigeria. In 2000, Abba was admitted into Police Academy Woodle, Kano State. After graduating, he was posted to the Adamawa State Police Command for his one-year mandatory attachment in Song Police Division. He was later deployed as Divisional Crime Officer in Newman, Adamawa State. Kyari also served as Unit Commander 14 PMF Yola. He moved to the Lagos State Police Command as officer in charge of Special Anti-Robbery Squad. He has received a number of awards over the years. My name is uh, DCP Abakari. I'm the head of the Nigerian Police Intelligence Response uh, Team. It is an allied unit of the Nigerian Police Force who is in charge of cases that has to do uh, with tracking and other technological uh, uh, equipment that uh, we use in tracking uh, criminals. Um, um, first of all, I would like to thank Almighty God for giving us the opportunity and grace to perform what we have been doing all this while. I would also like to appreciate my boss, the Inspector General of Police, for creating the enabling environment for us to fight crime in this country. Uh, I thank you. Thank you. Uh, my profound gratitude to Silverbird Group for finding us worthy of this award. He was honored by the Federal House of Representatives for his work in the Nigerian police. Abba Kyari led a team of police to arrest Nigeria's most notorious kidnap kingpin, billionaire kidnapper Evans, and his gang members in Lagos State, now under prosecution. The fall of Mr. Kyari began last year when the U.S. Attorney's Office, Central District of California, in July, issued an arrest warrant against him and five others for their roles in a scam. The scam was spearheaded by a former Nigerian Instagram celebrity, Ramon Abbas, popularly known as Hush Puppy. Mr. Abbas, the self-acclaimed Prince of Cash and Flash, has since been indicted by a grand jury on charges of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and money laundering. If convicted, he faces a maximum of 20 years in prison. With Hush Puppy awaiting sentencing in the US, Nigerians on social media were trolling the Nigerian government and police for their seeming determination to stall the extradition of Mr. Kyari to the U.S. There have been some new developments in Kyari's case. Earlier this year, he was implicated by the NDLEA in a 25 kilograms cocaine deal. The Anti-Narcotic Agency, on February 22, 2022, obtained an order from the court to detain him at the Federal High Court Abuja. The NDLEA has accused Mr. Kyari of making false claims that he and his team had intercepted and arrested traffickers entering Nigeria from Ethiopia with 25 kilograms of cocaine by allegedly propositioning a police officer last month. The Drug Enforcement Agency said it authorized one of its officers to pretend to be a co-conspirator with Mr. Kyari in order to learn more about his alleged plot to steal 15 kilograms of cocaine. The NDLEA claims that Mr. Kyari later handed over $61,400 to the undercover officer, the promised proceeds from the sale of 5 kilograms of cocaine. In his recent comment, Abba Kyar has blamed IPOB for his travails. Some Nigerians feel that the government and the P. Aulis are deliberately delaying Abba Kyari extradition so that he can be pardoned.